Hello, it's Reti. Welcome to this video. It's quite a special video. Why? Because it's a Q&A for my 2.5k subscriber. And thank you all so much because it's so much. I'm very happy and I'm very thankful for everyone who subscribed to my channel, who liked my video and watched them. That's very nice. And that makes me very happy. So if you like the video, you can subscribe to my channel and like the video. Let's go to the video. Enjoy. So the first question is asked by Lolo. Hey Lolo. So you gave me a lot of questions. He started by saying to me, congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. I'm so happy. And I am for once proud of something I did. Where, how, and when did you learn to draw such good animations? I'm really curious because they are really amazing. They aren't amazing, they're bad. <laughs> I mostly bought a graphic tablet and started drawing. At first it was very, very bad, but then of course with practice you get better and better. So how did I get to become better? Yeah, practice like I said, also I watch a lot of tuto video. Also I, uh, I am quite lucky because one of my cousins married an animator that worked in an animated movie studio. So I'm quite lucky because he was teaching me a lot. Why are you a baguette? Well, that's because... Why do you like crescents? Uh, I don't think I ever said I like crescents, but it's true, I love crescents. And why? Because it's very good. So I have to ask you. Are you going to finish a croissant? What made you choose YouTube as a creator platform? Well, it's simple. I used to watch YouTube since like around 2010, something like that. And I was always happy to watch YouTube videos. So one day I decided to make one. And it was a video on Minecraft in 2013. I was 13 years old, so <laughs> you know it's bad. You know it's very cringe, but it was very fun to, to make. I tried numerous times to make videos on new channels. Every time I was creating a new one, that's very stupid. I <laughs> but then I discovered the animation memes video. And I started making a lot of videos. And today, I'm still doing a lot of videos, but today I want to make other types of videos than animation. Like funny videos on VRChat. I love it because VRChat is so good. How did you get your drawing style? So yeah, for that there is not a secret. You just draw a lot and it comes by itself. If you look at how much change I got, my style changed a lot. What's your sauna and what is the backstory? So first of all, my sauna doesn't have any ba backstory. It's supposed to represent what I like, what I am and what I want to be. Yeah, no, not really a backstory, just my story, I guess. But about the design, I choose gray because gray is a color that goes well with every color and it's less dark than black. <laughs> obviously. And I choose pink because I love pink. It's very gay. Uh -huh. But also it goes well with so much color. It's crazy. What is your dream? My dream is to be able to live from YouTube, Patreon or Twitch. It's a pretty lame dream considering how little people actually manage to do that. But this is actually the only thing faith in. Next question by Lidak. Hi. Was there any piece of media? movie, TV show, book, etc. In particular, that led you to your interest in the furry community. Well, to be honest, not really. I actually became a furry when I discovered what it is. But yet, there are media with intro characters that I liked before being a trash furry. This this movie, for example. Hey, JC, how did you discover the furry fandom? Hey, that's a very good one. Like a lot of people, I heard furry a few times before taking an interest in it. 
I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was just a kind of cute fluffy character from anime, but not really a fandom. Then when I uploaded my Momotaro meme, one of my friends they said that he wouldn't watch it because he doesn't really like the furry community. And I was like, what? Furry community? What do you mean? I did something quite dangerous considering how many very weird shit there is on Google. <laughs> I looked like on Google and I was like, oh, that's cool. Those people seem so nice. And you know what? Furries are the best people in the world. Since I'm a furry, I made so much friends that are so nice to me. And I love being nice to them because they are so positive, they are so kind. But back to the story, because at one point I found a video that changed my life forever because it made me entirely a furry. Oh, what's happening to my arms? Ah, it hurts! <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh! <laughs> Is my arm okay? <laughs> so yeah, the video f was from a fucker, where we can see the first reader, Telefa. And I fell in love with first reading, and then with everything related to Fruy, even if. Hey Wolf Wookie! Thanks for your question! What motivated you to be an animator? A few years ago, I got a DSi. For those who know, there is Flipnote on it. It's a free application. And it was to make little animation. It was so good, I loved it. I used to make shitty animation, not even animation, to be honest. <laughs> it was just like shitty animatics. Then, of course, I discovered anime. Yes, I was a weeboo. <laughs> Like this, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> 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 oh god, I'm very ashamed of myself. So obviously, I wanted to make manga. <laughs> I wanted to be a mangaka. I started drawing more than I used to draw. So I was already in the mood of wanting to do something with art. But then, at a moment where I was really depressed, YouTube recommended me a video, then a second one. They were both called It's Not Like I Like You. The first I seen was from JPZ Central, I hope I said good, and the second from Wall Feature. And I start loving watching this kind of video. So I got a job, then got enough money to buy a Huion GT85. Yeah, most people when they start drawing in digital, they just buy a pretty cheap graphic tablet. I was like, no, I want a very good graphic tablet. I'm taking one with a screen. I start drawing and got addicted to doing this. Oh God. So when and how did you realize about your sexuality and do you have a partner? I kinda just did a slow transition from straight to gay. I thought that I was straight until I found the furry fandom and the furry fandom is so dangerous for straight guy. But then in December of 2018, I joined the furry fandom and discovered Fanboy! I seen that, I was like, oh, this is a very cute drawing of very effeminate guys, that, that's nice. Then I started watching a little bit more. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this, this is very cute and uh, <laughs> maybe I'm bi, but just, I just like guys in drawing. I started watching more ye for fanboys and now I'm like, I'm, I'm totally gay, no! <laughs> Well, not totally gay actually. I consider myself as pansexual. Even if it's true that I love guys, but if I have feelings, I could be with girls, a trans, non-binary or anything else. I don't care because love isn't about gender. The second part of the question, do you have a partner? Nope. I've been single for more than a year now. I don't want to get with someone just to be with someone. Fishy shadows. Ask me. How did you know how to get to know some memes? It's very simple, I just go on YouTube, watch some animation meme compilations, video from other animators, just look at the latest animation memes uploaded on YouTube. 
quite easy. Thanks asking me questions. Thank you. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh my god, that's such a fucking job interview question. <laughs> Where I want to be in 10 years is being in Canada or America, but Canada would be better for a French guy. <laughs> I'm scared. And also being able to live from my passion, that is making videos and animation, art, and making stream. And also having a lot of animals because <laughs> I love animals. I want a fucking fox. I want dogs, especially Australian Shepherd. I love them. I also want cats, ferrets. I want a snake because I love snake. And the last one, cuddling with a husband. That would be my dream life. Just doing the job I love with a lot of animals in a great house in the in country I want to live in while cuddling my husband. Max the Dark Protogen. So what do you do in your free time? I just watch YouTube or Netflix. And if not, I'm playing games, mostly via chat because via chat is the best game ever. And also I take time every day to go work for one hour. And also tr I'm trying to get a job. Next question. Netro Gaiman, why are you so cute? But the thing, I'm not. I am not cute, okay? I am not cute. But it's stop saying I'm cute because I'm not. And the last but not least from Zenko, my friend. He asked me, why are you so gay? Who isn't gay? You are gay. No, you. But seriously, I'm gonna explain why I'm so gay. Hmm, rare. Because there is nothing better than some nice, big, and warm dick, uh, uh, I, 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 I mean, I mean, hugs, hugs and cuddles, from a cute guy, yeah, yeah, this is totally what I wanted to say, hugs and cuddles, <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you really enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment it, like I said at the start of the video. I hope you have a great day, a great night, a great everything because you deserve it. So here is the goodbye boops, boop boop boop, and bye bye.